Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bailey, if you are new here. Okay, so I am so excited for today. I've been wanting to do this DIY fireplace for quite a while now and I currently rent, so having a real fireplace just is not ideal and I just can't do that. So I'm very excited to share this with you guys. Last time I did a DIY on my TikTok, it somehow blew up and got like millions of views. I don't know how. Um, I'll insert that below if you do want to check it out. And if you are here from TikTok, hello. So yeah, so I'm going to be making this video into a TikTok and a YouTube video. And so the YouTube video is going to be um, obviously so a more in-depth video so you guys know the measurements and everything. And, I mean, and I'm going to be taking you guys all along the entire process. But before we go to Home Depot and before we get started, I want to show you guys the coziest outfit that I'm literally wearing right now. I'm going to flip around the camera so you guys can see it. Okay, so I cannot get over how cute this thing is. So this is from Udi and they sent it to me to wear and I'm literally going to be living inside this Udi. This giant blanket hoodie for the next like fall and winter. I'm so excited to be binging like Netflix and whatnot. Um, yeah, it's extremely soft. I decided to get the light pink. I believe they have like navy and black and they have like ones that literally have like little corgis or even like, I don't know, they have a bunch of fun little designs if you guys want to check it out. Make sure you guys use my code Bailey30 if you guys want a little percentage off. Honestly, this is like the perfect thing for I think like Christmas coming up. Like this would be the best little gift to give your family and friends. Honestly, I'm so comfy. Okay, so I'm just going to change and then I'll be bringing you guys to Home Depot with us. I literally just changed into a smaller version of my giant new hoodie. <laughs> Literally, I'm so basic, but I was just kind of getting a little overheating and it's kind of warm out today. So anyways, I'll take you guys with us. Okay, so we're on our way to Home Depot. Wyatt drew out this little um, cheat sheet of all of the measurements and stuff because before we left, we measured the wall and made sure the height and whatnot was perfect. And yeah, so we're taking this and this is gonna be very in depth. Obviously like your guys' measurements might be a bit different based on like what you need for your the section of the wall and whatnot and height that you prefer but i will post everything that i did the exact same one that's going to be in my office what chicken wing chicken wing i'm talking Okay, so to begin with, you need 10 two by twos, guys. Next step is that we need MDF sheets. Do you know how many do we need? Ready, two. And it's kind of up to you if you want quarter inch or eight inch. And what are we doing? I don't know yet. <laughs> well, you guys know. The fireplace that we're doing or that Bailey wants is 45 inches tall by 45 inches wide. So I've already got this cut at 45 and I also am making it 10 inches deep off the wall. So if this is your wall, it's gonna be this deep. Yeah. So it's gonna be 10 inches here, 10 inches on the top and 10 inches there, which are those pieces down there. And like I already said, 45 inches for the front face. And this back here, once again, this is the skeleton of skeleton. the fireplace. <laughs> The best way to put Happy it. October 1st. <laughs> okay, so next step is to look for a baseboard. So that's what we're doing right now. Okay, and then the next thing, you need to pick out the trim that goes inside the little square of the fireplace. I think I'm gonna go for more of like a basic one. I think we're leaning towards this one, but you guys will see the final product. Okay, so now that we picked out the trim for the inside of like where the fireplace actually is or where the candles are, you need to pick out the trim that's gonna go on the top where the mantle is. This is the one I picked out and we grabbed seven feet of it. Okay, so we're also grabbing these outside corner little things. So this is just like an option because apparently like the MDF sheets like slide in and it makes it look like trimmed and framed. What? No. Just, no? That's this, not right. This just covers an edge. <laughs> 
So if this is your edge, it goes like this. Yeah, so hide the edge of the MD Max. It just slides in? <laughs> no. Okay, last and final step. Pick out your paint. Why can Okay, so we're cutting all the pieces for the frame um, before we cut the MDF. MDF? MDF. MDF! MDF! Go for it. This is actually your vlog? <laughs> no, it's not. This is your idea. So we just notched out the section of the baseboard, which is that. We use the same style that's in the house here. So you can use the same style that's in your, your house. house. Okay, next up, we're just screwing in the cross braces so that basically, obviously you can put things on top of the mantle, like candles, stockings, whatever you want. Okay, so this is the outside skeleton part. And then right here, this is going to be flush against the wall. As you can see, there's like a little cutout here because the baseboards that are already existing on the wall. So basically you just put the MDF on here, here, obviously right here, and then right here, but then you have to cut the square. <laughs> that was nice <laughs> for all the candles, but we're getting close. Okay, so why it's currently putting more of the skeleton, he calls it. No, I just call it skeleton so that you guys can understand. This is the framing <laughs> of the fireplace. The framing. <laughs> He's getting a little uh, a little heady because I don't know the terms. I obviously don't know what I'm doing. I'm currently uh, just sitting here on my chair. Working hard. <laughs> Micromanaging on something I don't know. Woodwork is just not my thing, but I am a profesh spray sitter. <laughs> I am a professed spray painter. So you know what? When that comes up, it's my time to shine. Okay, a little trick for people who aren't too familiar with building. Sometimes when you're trying to put in a screw on an angle like this, it's going to be a little bit tough. and It's like, oh, that's not going to go in. Right? You're trying to get the angle. So what you do, you put it straight in like this. Okay? And you reverse it out. Now that the hole's there, it'll allow you to push it in on that angle that you need. Nice, high five. Damn. Okay, so the frame is all done. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like without the MDMF sheets and obviously the paint all done. So, bunch of little bracing here so I can put like candles and stuff or whatever I want, that giant mirror. Um, and then obviously hang like cute stockings, whatever you guys want to do with that. the fireplace to the wall we're using L brackets just so that it stays put and we're just about to screw the wall and then we're gonna bring in the final piece that goes on the front panel and then we're gonna do last one last final coat with a roller update day two working on the fireplace basically tonight we'll be able to finish all of like the trim and then I'll be able to start doing the final touches of the painting Okay, so a little update on the fireplace. All of the like moldings, I guess you can call it. Well, that's technically a molding, but basically they're all in. So we have on the base, all through here, and then on the bottom here, I left this empty. And then I also decided last minute that to throw another piece just because this looks a little ratch. So this is gonna look cute. And Wyatt told me to say we're going to dab it. Dap, no, it. dap it. D-A-P. We're gonna dap it. Dap it. Oh my gosh. We're gonna dap it. Okay, so this is dap, as I was explaining earlier, that I mistaken for dabbed. Um, so basically you use this to fill corners 
Honestly, they probably wanted to call it Gap, but that was already taken. <laughs> so you do a light streak all the way through. Look, and then you grab your finger, make sure that you get a bunch of uh, paper towel to wipe off the excess. Wow. This stuff is not toxic or anything. Obviously, just don't eat it. <laughs> all right, and then you do this. And then once you paint it, which is white, is our color. If yours is black, they have black dap. They have other colored daps. And all the different daps. All Make the a wrap. Dap, dap here, dap. dap there, dap everywhere. <laughs> show you guys the finished product it literally looks so good I honestly did not think it was gonna turn out like this so I'm so excited to flip around the camera and show you guys what it looks like okay this is how it turned out it literally looks so good and professional and built in I'm still like mind blown on how it turned out like it's just so pretty move the camera to 0.5 so you guys can see like the full bigger picture I know it downgrades the quality but then you're able to see like the entire room um I just I can't get over how well this turned out this is just so cute and I'm so excited because it's almost Thanksgiving and holiday season so I can't wait to get some like cute garland and like hang up stockings like this is just so cute I can't Thank you guys so much for watching. Honestly, this was like probably the most fun I've ever had doing a DIY next to the industrial mirror. If you haven't checked that out, I'll put my TikTok video below. Um, yeah, make sure you guys like and subscribe this video.